Please, tell me you can do something, Doctor. I need to know that everything's going to be fine. I'm sorry, Mr. Todoroki. I'd be a liar if I said it was that simple. This is a complex poisoning. And not something that just anyone has access to. We need time. And we most likely need to find something that can cure it. Just tell me. Anything is fine. I'll do whatever it takes. I wish it were that simple. But I'm afraid, Mr. Todoroki. This is something I've never seen before. And this is my field of specialty. It hurts my pride. But I truly lack the knowledge of what we're dealing with. Give me something to go on at least. What, what are the chances if we don't find something? Sadly, I don't think there's any chance. If that happens, then I'm afraid I've failed you as a doctor. I've broken the Hippocratic Oath, and I'm sorry. We just need more. I'm an expert, but I'm not a miracle worker. It's all right. I just need some time. I'll come up with something. Give me any information you may have. About that. It's limited, but it's something of a bioengineered drug. A poison that changes, kind of like cancer. It's something that, every time we figure it out, it seems to outsmart us, almost like it's got a mind of its own. So I think your best bet is to look in the realm of more experimental science. Medicine just isn't there yet. Are you telling me to give up? No, I wouldn't dream of that. But I am nothing if not a real person. Someone who has to be honest. It's why I went into this field, to help people. And if I were to give you false hope, and the worst case comes to pass, I'd feel personally responsible. Even more than I feel already. So, do you have any leads? Anyone who could help me? Hmm. I'm afraid not. Not right now. Perhaps the Heroes Association can send more help. They've already sent Recovery Girl. But I'm afraid that's not enough yet. It's slowed things down, and given you more time. But, uh, as a physician, I'm not entirely sure what to tell you. No. Thank you for telling me what you did. I'd rather have the honest truth than I would have some false hope of things. Thank you for, well, thank you for everything, and try your best for, for their sake. I assure you, I promise you, not only as a physician, but as a person, I'll do everything in my power 
everything I know how. We'll keep fighting. So, you do it too. What do I do now, my love? Even now it feels as though you're with me. Like I can hear your voice whispering in my ear. But where do we go? I've got to find something out. I can't bear to lose you. And at our wedding, of all things. Shoto. Father, with all due respect, I don't have time right now. No, it's about... that. Do you know something? I have a lead for you, but you probably won't like it. What is it, Father? Spit it out, please. I don't want to have to lose someone precious to me again. Not anything more. I know, son. I bear the bitter pain of that too. The shame that I let that happen as your father. That I did all those things. Consider this. An effort in good faith, and I'm trying to right those wrongs. I found this. A note. It was left in a strange location in the basement. And I'm not entirely sure what to make of it. But perhaps it would mean something more to you. Thank you, Father. If you are truthful in all this, then perhaps we can salvage our relationship yet. I thank you, Shoto. Even if it's just a chance, that means a lot to me. Very well, Father. Then I'll leave you for now. I have much work to do. If you need anything, my son, just call me. I will come there in an instant. You are one of my precious children, not just my heir. Yes, Father. You're correct on that. I've become much more. Now, what's written here? A party crestfallen by angst and anguish. Who could do such a feat but one with their head in the clouds? That doesn't mean anything to me. Wait a moment. Where have I seen that before? Isn't that... That's something from one of Shigaraki's goons. And so... It was the League of Villains then, was it? No. It's too early to suspect them because it might be someone framing them. I have to be cautious. So I think I'll check things out directly. I know exactly who to ask. I'm looking for someone. Oh yeah? There's a lot of people looking for someone around these parts, so what's it to you? That's none of your concern unless you know someone named Dabby. And what if I do, smart guy? 
What to do ya? I think you should tell me immediately before I lose my temper. <laughs> Looks like we got a comedian here. He thinks he can take us all on or something. Hey, boss. That's a... That might not be a good idea. That's a... That's... Shoto. Todoroki. You don't want to mess with him. Oh, damn. It's fine. It's whatever. You just thought... You want to know about Dobby? Then make it worth my while. All you care about is money, isn't it? All of you. It's pathetic, really. But fine. Take your money and tell me the information or take me to him. I don't have time to waste. Every second is worth more than your miserable lives. Okay, just cool down. I don't want to piss you off or anything. All I know is that there's this guy among the villains. A real dangerous fella. I heard rumors of him. He's called the Spider. But I don't know why they call him that. So, your guess is as good as mine on the details. Do you really know nothing more? Is that all you're going to give me? A name. All right, good fella. Don't don't do this. I, I all I can tell you is he likes to hang out in a certain place near the Eda Estate. Sometimes he'll pick a fight with some passing heroes. There's something about his territory. Nobody goes there. Except for the people he approves. No heroes, no villains. He's kind of a strange fella. See, you can be a good little obedient dog, can't you? Now out of my way. Hey, where's my payment, bud? Your Payment is you keeping your miserable life. <clears throat> By the Eda estate, is it? I didn't expect to see him anytime soon, but I don't have time to waste. <clears throat> it seems like a strange part of the city. I honestly can't believe it's so quiet. Perhaps this is just what I'm looking for. <laughs> You've got some nerve coming here saying what you said. <laughs> yeah, you might be looking for me. If I could avoid disturbing you, I would. Now you have two choices. Either I burn this place down, all of your so-called territory, and anyone who will get in my way will burn as well. Or you will give me the information I'm looking for. One, aren't you trying to intimidate me? Do you even know where I am? Do you even know what I can do? <laughs> no, but I don't care. How about I just test you this way? Do you know what happens? When flames and ice meet, 
here, let's give you a little lesson in science. It creates steam. Ultra hot. Vaporous water. And what do you think I can do? I'll just smoke you out. <laughs> Wait! What's the information? You might be able to get it if you ask nicely next time. I can tell you. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how you imbeciles all react the same? You're like the same person over and over again. Where is Dobby? You want to know where Dobby is? That's... That's information he'll probably come and kill me for. Your choice, Spider. You can either die now, by me, steamed alive in the next ten minutes, or take your chances with Dobby. <laughs> You're not giving me much choice, are you? Fine, fine. We'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk. <sighs> Dobby. Like staying out below. There's a nasty little rat hole he calls a place a home. <laughs> he might say it like this. Oh, this is my home. Enough with your jesting. How do I get there? Answer now, or I'll lose my patience. You go under to the sewer, and then you look for the... You look for the sign. The underground communicates with this symbol here. Yes, you see it. Hidden in plain sight. Now, leave me. Never come back here. I hope to never have to. Okay. I guess the only way is below. Mm. So that's where it is. I've been walking down here for a while, but the symbols seem to leap in a circle. No doubt, a means to dissuade pursuers. Ah, wait a second. What's this? It seems they're more crafty than I thought. This wall. It seems hollow. I guess there's only one way. If we make an explosion here, then... Okay. It's a good thing the steam explosion is so powerful, but I'll need to be careful. That's the trick. It seems like we've made it. Time to go below. Thinking back, I could have just opened the door. If I knew how. Perhaps I was too hasty, but there's no time to waste. Hmm. A strange labyrinth of places. But what's that? We don't often get visitors down here. So what are you doing, Shoto Todoroki? Yes, you're definitely him. Dobby, I need answers and I need them now. Someone dear to me is in dire condition and... You don't get to make demands down here. This is where you heroes swipe all your dirt under the rug. All those things and people you want to pretend you protect. Then why am I the only one protecting them? 
Look, I don't have time. Then make it. You're not understanding. I don't want to have to fight you. Well, isn't that a shame? Because it seems like I really have been itching to fight you. You... You... Did everything I couldn't. And you have the nerve to be a spoiled brat about it. People like you piss me off more than anything. Look. There's no sense in arguing. I've had my fair share of mistakes, but I won't let this go down as another one. There's a unique poison running through the veins of my life partner, and I need your help. I can't brunt force that. As much as I'd like to fight you, it accomplishes nothing. So calm down. And why should I help you? When did you ever help me or any of the people down here? What are you gonna do to make it worth it? Shoto. You're everything that I want to be in some way. But you know what? I guess that's why father always loved you more. What was that? You said something under your breath. It's nothing. And it doesn't matter now anyways. We've both been through the ringer. So tell me what's going on. Here. This is all the information I have. It's on this phone. It's apparently... some kind of bioengineered poison that uses bacteria as its delivery system. Weaponized bacteria. Whoever did this was thorough. Maybe even has a quirk for it. But what I need to know is do you have something I can use to stop it? There's not enough medicine down here to stop a common flu. So what you're looking for, you're not gonna like. My answer isn't a good one in your book, and it's not a pretty one either. You're gonna have to find Shigaraki. What's that supposed to mean? This is most likely related to him. As I've only ever heard of anything like this happening once before. And that was with someone. Shigaraki took in. An experimental bacteria that was weaponized to make someone in pain, but never kill them. I heard about it, but I never met what happened to the poor soul. In fact, I kind of wish they had some kind of reprieve, but I just don't think that's the case. Are you telling me that's the only way? I couldn't tell you yes or no, even if I wanted to. I only know what I hear. The whispers on the back of every footstep. The eyes in every alleyway. But I can tell you, I can't help you. If you're looking for that horrible person, it shouldn't be hard to find him. Mm. Well, thanks for trying. I hope that I can return the favor someday. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Just tell Endeavor. Someday I'll prove him wrong. What's 
that supposed to mean? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Goodbye, Shota. Please wait. He's gone. I guess there wasn't anything else to say. Though I think, from here on out, it's going to be a dangerous ride. I'll save you, my darling, even if I have to. Even if I have to go there, I know what I need to do. I just don't like it. Where can I find Shigaraki? Oh my. Such an esteemed guest to my bar. I hope you don't sincerely think that I would simply tell you, do you? I think you know. You don't have a choice. <laughs> You're as amusing as ever, aren't you, Shoto Todoroki? I haven't the time for your jokes, and by the time you could portal away, you'd already be gone. Unless you fancy testing a battle of speed and your location being discovered again. The only reason I know where you are is because of what my father did. Mm. What a troubling little child we have here. Well, not so little anymore, are you? Shoto Todoroki. But I digress. I owe Shigaraki no favors, so I suppose helping you is not in the worst interest. But why, young Todoroki, what is it you seek such a madman for? That will be the price of my information. Why such a cheap price? is what I want to ask, but I don't have the time. Look here. My beloved is bestricken with one of the worst manufactured poisons. Mm. So it seems that the bacteria has been weaponized. This definitely seems like something Shigaraki would be exceptionally good at. So then, what makes you think he's going to try and help you? Who said anything about help? I'll kill him if I have to. He'll give me the cure. Bold words, but I have a feeling he's got the upper hand here. And I don't mean in combat ability. You think too short-sighted, Shoto Todoroki. And what if I do? What choice do I have? I suppose that's fair. You can find Shigaraki. At the East End District. It's disguised as a home. But it's his lair, beneath the house. The address is 11285. If you go there, expect an army of Noros. Nomos and all sorts of creations. It's sort of the parting gift that... All for one left him. I suggest you don't get carried away. 
And when did you become such a caring individual, Kurogiri? To be honest with you, I was never ruthless. But there was something I had to do. After I got betrayed in my pursuit of it, I could no longer stand like such a fool. I cursed him, but I could barely escape. I managed to, but only just. So, Shoto, take this as someone who's been near him for a very long time. Do not underestimate Shigaraki. You worry over nothing. Just have faith. But Shigaraki will do what I say. And if he doesn't, he'll pay for it. I wish you luck, young Shoto. You will surely need it. Hmm. It seems like this is the place. It looks unassuming enough. It's no surprise the other heroes haven't found it. But let's just... waltz inside, shall we? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. You wouldn't want to step there. Just a word of advice from someone looking out for an old friend. What brings you here? What's your name again? <laughs> You're so insignificant to me that I just... I sometimes forget. What's one little flea? Or another? Nobody names flies. Shoto Todoroki. And I came to you and I think you know why. Oh, whatever could you be accusing me of? Poor Shigaraki. Getting accused again and again. It's not even that I've done that much recently. Really? So spit it out. What's the accusation today? The love of my life. Poisoned. And why? <laughs> you can't actually think. I have time on my hands to just go poisoning some dude's fiance or whatever. Come on. You know me better than that. Then, why was this on the paper? What? Now that's interesting. What do you think it means? Why? You may have caught me in something that I didn't know myself. That's practically wonderful. I'm doing so good that I can't even keep up with my own actions. <laughs> if I catch you did this, I'll be almost as mad as you. I'll just be a lot more cruel and experimental. So, you don't care. Even going so low as to talk to me. You're not even doing anything. Is it that you know? Is it that you know you're completely outmatched? That even if you kill me, it just means that nice, innocent life you've been craving all your life. The family that you want is just gonna be a crying mess of tears. I suggest you stop. And I suggest you listen to me. <laughs> because I'm your only hope. How ironic, you hate me. I don't even hate you and you're trying to get my help. <laughs> of course I hate you. I think it's you who did this. Give me one reason why you wouldn't. <laughs> you gotta trust me. What are friends for after all? If you don't trust me, we'll get nowhere and we've just begun to. I think I like you, Shoto. <laughs> but what's it gonna be? 
Are you gonna trust a supervillain? Or are you going to let your loved one die? Such an interesting drama, don't you think? Shut up. You understand nothing. Oh, I understand a great deal. That you're an idiot just like... Mm, I don't even want to say his name. But that idiot who's taking all my fire. It's always been a thorn in my side. I don't care who that is. Now tell me what I have to do. Oh, you're getting all nice now. You're gonna make me blush. <laughs> so, willing to work with me, are you? I might drag you to the depths of hell and not even help you. Doesn't that scare you? Aren't you afraid? No, because none of that is as scary as doing nothing. Oh, you're so amazing, aren't you? You're so dedicated to that, that love of yours. You would go this far? How bloody will you let your hands be? What kind of massacre <laughs> would you do? If you give the results, then nothing is too much. <laughs> what a lovely story. You've become one of my favorite people. And in such little time, we're gonna be besties, okay? And trust me, from one friend to another, I won't let this get to game over. I wouldn't dream of it. That's too boring anyways. So why don't we... Ooh, what should we do? Play a game? I think that's a great idea, don't you? Just help them, please. Help my love, and I'll play whatever game you want. <laughs> You're all so easy, Todoroki-kun. <laughs> oh, I guess we should just use our first name basis, because we're that close. Bestie. So what's it gonna be today? What's the game? That's up to you. You don't seem too comfortable yet. So why don't we get to know each other? I'll show you an example of my favorite game. <laughs> it's called Experiments. Until I find a better name for it, that is. You know, sometimes you run out of names. You make all these wonderful creations, but never get enough names. That's the true glory of it. I have an idea. How about you help me name it? Come here, best buddy. Very well. Lead the way. Oh, don't be such a stranger. See? I'll just put my arm over you like this, and we'll stay up all night, and eat junk food, and play games. It's gonna be so much fun, I promise. And I'll teach you how I have a fun life every single day. You see, I like to recruit people, and then I like to put them through things, and see how much they can take. Because you know what? Each and every one of them is so boring. I make them so interesting. And I think you'll appreciate it once you see it. Oh, by the way, there is one condition. I'm gonna need you to do this. What's this? Oh, it's just a best friend symbol. And it's a nice little trust thing. So, this right here, and this here syringe, why, it's something that will do you so much good. You see, it'll make your blood into something fascinating, and it will make sure you never get too cold or too hot again. 
and it has maybe a teensy tiny side effect. But I promise you, it'll bring you one step closer to your goal. You know, saving that love or whatever. And just how will it? I don't have much time with that. Oh, don't be a spoil sport. I'll work on it after I show you. You have my word. If you take this syringe and use it, it'll show you a whole new world. It's gonna be great. Fine. You promise, right? Scout's honor. I mean, I never really believed in the scouts, but personally, I have no reason to lie to you. It's kind of boring to lie to people, unless I get something awesome out of it. Which in this case, well, you get the point. <clears throat> What's going on? It's kind of painful. No, no, that'll go away in just a minute. You'll understand real soon. Okay. I'm feeling kind of normal. Good, good. You're a great reception for this. You might be my best friend. And we'll see after the experiment. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't dream of putting you in one of these. No, no. That'd be sad. You're my best buddy after all. I just wanted you to help me name it. I'm gonna show you it, and then we'll see. So, without further ado, are you excited? I'm not sure how I feel. Well, you should be a little excited, because we're about to do something that might save. These experiments are really important. A lot of good things come from experimentation. Just the heroes don't want any human experimentation, and I agree to disagree. I... I understand. See? We both get each other. We're so kindred spirits. It's great. I've always wanted a best buddy like you. Uh, so, what's this particular experiment? Oh, yes, yes. So this is one of my favorites. It's a new experiment that, well, let's just say it hasn't gone well so far, but we're looking for the right receptionist. I mean patient. Well, whatever you want to call them. I don't really care about the details anyways. But anyways, so this experimental drug, it's supposed to give someone a quirk. A particular quirk at that. In this case, Himiko Toga's ability to shapeshift. Now, let's see if this person is grateful enough. <clears throat> testing, testing. All right, begin the test in three, two, what is it? Oh, mercy. <laughs> But I wouldn't dream of doing something cruel to you. We're just doing science. You'll be fine. Probably. Are you sure that they'll be okay? Now, now, bestie. We're not here to worry about the test. It's just here to get old naming sense. And now, three, two, one, let's go. Oh, looking promising. Look at how they writhe for a moment, and then the pain goes away. Oh, you're doing great, Subject 382. You're doing great. Oh, oh, not looking good. You see, this is why I had trouble naming it. They'll turn into a bunch of things, but then if they're not careful, they turn into too many at once and, well, as you can see, that happens. Isn't it such a shame? 
they kind of melt. It's not like they're dead or anything. They're just kind of unable to move properly until, of course, they learn how to control it. We'll take good care of them. Now vacuum that one up or something. I don't know what to say. That's how I feel. It's so hard to come up with a name with this because there's so many good parts. The ooey gooeyness, the melting, the writhing in pain. You know, it's good. What's your favorite part? I think you better be real careful that you don't get boring answers, friend, if you care about that love of yours. The amalgamate test. Ooh, that's a real good one. <laughs> I knew I could count on you, bestie. You're just the bestie best ever. And besides, I haven't even gotten the popcorn yet. Anyways, shall we? Oh, wait, I gotta keep my promise. Okay, so remember that injection I gave you. Well, it might have some neurostimulants in there. That might just give us a clue. You see, what I injected you with has like three different distinct purposes. One of them is to deaden your pain a little. The other is to make you kind of like me. It's hard to explain. You won't really notice that one real quick, but it's, it's a fascinating effect. And the third, the third is it's an antibiotic. Your blood becomes something of a cure itself. Now, we have to get to the bottom of who made this and what they're after. So, you may not have a sample, but we're gonna need one unless I can... Never mind. I got you, bestie. Even better than a blood sample. We're gonna try something. I'll inject you with the cure. One of them. There's bound to be one of these that works. Now if we could get your blood to be, well, close enough to the cure, we can annihilate that pesky poison. And whoever did it, well, they'll have to answer for their crimes, won't they? I'll even help you personally. If someone harms my best friend, I'll make sure they don't die easy. You know, a lot of people think I don't have a heart, and it's not that. Not at all. In fact, I have a big one. It's a nice heart. And I care a lot about certain things. People just misunderstand me. I see. So, you actually care about my plight. Pardon me. Feeling a little strange. No, no. Don't worry, bestie. I'll just leave you right outside the hospital where your precious love is, and you can try giving some of your blood. Then, if it doesn't work, you can come back to me. But there's one thing to remember. One thing you have to remember. You can never betray me as your friend. Or else I'll be really mad. Really sad, really heartbroken, I'll cry. And it won't be pretty. So please be my friend forever and we'll save your lovely love, love, love. If that's what it takes to save the gladly. Oh boy, I can't wait. We're gonna have so much fun together, aren't we? <laughs> Enjoy your nap. I promise it won't be for too long. You'll wake up right outside the hospital, ready to help. I never thought it'd be Shigaraki, the one that's most helpful. And what's going on in this world? My head hurts, but I've got to go. Let me through.
I need to see my love. Yes. My sweet. How sad it is seeing you like this. But don't worry. Ah. My blood will save you. <clears throat> My love. I missed you so much. To think you would work so fast. I never thought. I suppose I owe that man a lot. I truly do. N nothing, my love. I'll deal with that later. But... There's so much that I need to... Need to tell you. So much that needs to be done. Please come with me, we're leaving. Yes, I know it's against regulations. But I can already tell you, this is not a place for us to linger. There's something happening. But I'll tell you, I promise. It's incredibly important that I do. Because I don't want there to be secrets between us. <clears throat> Home sweet home. It's been a while, hasn't it, love? It's been so long, actually. Because we've been on that trip. How long was it? It was almost two weeks. And another three days in the hospital. The upwards of half a month. I still can't believe it. It's surreal. No. Don't worry about that. I still don't know who's responsible. But I... met someone. Someone who helped me. No, it's... not important. They're... not someone... who I'd like to... How do I put this? Well, I respect them now more than I did. I don't exactly know where my stance is. And besides that, I'd rather talk about you. What? What's the last thing you remember? Oh, thank goodness. It looks like it didn't damage you that way. I remember everything, but I play it back in my head and I still can't figure out the culprit. It unsettles me. It makes me angry and just so frustrated that I lack the words to describe the feeling. Painful. Helpless. Infuriating. I hope to never feel it again. And you have my word. With... A powerful new ally. I think... You'll be safe. Things aren't like they used to be. I don't really understand the world around us like I thought I did. I thought it was so simple, so easy. But I... I was wrong. Naive. But never fear, my love. We'll make it into such a place. By force, if necessary. There's so many people walking on eggshells that I feel it's necessary sometimes. No, you don't need to. I understand. 
But for now, please just leave it at that. And besides, with you healthy again, I feel so much less lonely, so much more fulfilled, so much more complete. So tell me, love, do you feel completely healthy? I need to know, because if you don't, it's all the more important that we take care of things properly. I know a good doctor in case we need something more. No, I... I understand. Yes, I agree. No, not like that. <laughs> Come here, you. Let me just hold you like this. Yes, I did go on a bit of a journey today. But I wouldn't even hesitate in doing it all again for you and so much more. Love makes us think in ways we never knew we could. And I've realized that love is the catalyst this world needs. More of it. I hate to say this, but someone who shouldn't have taught me anything taught me one of the most important lessons of my life. One must never judge those long since forgotten until they find out the truth. Pardon me, I was trailing away in thought, just talking to myself. So damn cute. <laughs> it makes me a little bit shy, actually. Knowing that you feel so strongly for me, it only makes my job that much more. How to put it? <laughs> Exuberating, but also petrifying. The myriad nature of how you react and I react with that. Action and reaction. It just... When it comes to you, love is everything to me. So I'm glad. Honored, even. To have your... loving heart care for me. <laughs> You're amazing, my love. Mm. Mm. As if I could ever tire of kissing you. That's simply impossible, love. Shall I show you? Mm. That's what I've missed so much. <laughs> what I feared I'd never be able to have again. Never be able to enjoy your company. It's too sad a thought, honestly. 
I regret nothing. Oh, love, come closer and sit on my lap. Yes, please do. So I can get a nice view of that neck and maybe even a bit lower. Mm. get enough of you, love. It's too much and embarrassing to say this, but would it be too much to ask to be one with you? To share in this overwhelming feeling together? <clears throat> Doesn't make you embarrassed, my love. to have me kissing down your back like this. Mm. Your soft, supple skin. It's so fun to kiss and play with. Perhaps that makes me childish or maybe too adult. I can't seem to decide. you remember the first time I kissed you all over your body? I'll never forget. Mm. <sighs> what say we get to more Sensitive areas. <laughs> what was that? You have a request for me. Sure. I could do that for you. You... You want me t to what? I've never heard of an uwu before. Are you certain I should do that? And you want me to follow it up with... with that noise? Very well. Um, I'll try my best. Who will? Nya. Was that how it's supposed to... I feel like you're making fun of me. So I'll be taking my revenge now. <laughs> you have such sensitive thighs, don't you? <sighs> don't mind me. I may have taken a nibble or two, but with your smooth, beautiful skin. I'm sure you'll be just fine. With a marking to let everyone know, well, I guess they wouldn't see it here. But it's a marking that claims you as mine. I'm sure you'll remember it in these kisses. Mm. And what about that? We can't neglect any part of your body. I did say I was going to kiss you everywhere. Mm. Now, darling, just spread your legs and relax. 
Mm. <laughs> How beautiful. I really can't get tired of... Oh, is my breath too much? <laughs> Practically twitching with anticipation, aren't you? <sighs> Watching you squirm at my touch, at my kisses, it's exhilarating. Joy, because we've only just begun. <laughs> You're quivering, you know. Are you that shy, that embarrassed? <laughs> it looks like I'll have to do more. <sighs> no. I'd like you to enjoy yourself. I'm gonna hold you close. Uh, and I'm going to have you, well, serve me a bit. I've always wanted to do this. With such a beautiful body as yours, I just... Oh, yes. I... Want to... Well... Go between your thighs before... Before we begin. It's a bit embarrassing, but... You have such a... Glorious body, I... <clears throat> Keep talking like that. And I'll go even more crazy for you. <clears throat> Just like that, love. <sighs> I know it's just... The prelude. Uh, moment before crescendo, but your body is too much for me. Too amazing. Oh. Mm. Ah. Mm. You're tempting me too much, love. I fear I can't resist. Oh, the angle changed. It was an accident, love. Just relax. It's too late to go back. Why don't you stay standing? Embrace me and give me a kiss. 
I am past to be doing the standing. Uh, yes, yes, just like that. Uh, 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 yes, love. Uh, mm, mm. I'm gonna pull you back into me. Give me your arms. Yes, love. Just like that. Yes. Yes. Just like that. I love hearing your voice escaping. It's too much for me. Ah, 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 yes, just like that. I'm sorry. I can't resist you, love. I can't bear to stop halfway. I must claim you from your insides out. You are mine, and I am yours. Hold still. It's still twitching a bit. Just relax, love, and let me kiss that neck of yours. As it seeps inside you. Mm. Mm. Pardon if I was too much today. I love you so much, my darling, but... There's so much that I couldn't say with words that I needed to convey. So much that I just couldn't express any other way. I hope it was amazing and that you can understand holding you like this. It means more than any other thing you could do. No amount of gifts, no amount of thoughtfulness is better than you. So please, never cease being yourself and always, always remember I'm your husband. And more than that, that I will <clears throat> no sorry I just felt a little strange for a moment I'm just fine no no matter what my love I'll not have anything happen to you I swear by it So what was it like? With that poison, was it painful? I see. So, do you feel better now? I know I asked that earlier, but I thought maybe now would be a good time as well. So there's a pressure. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what to make of that, though. What exactly does a pressure in your side actually mean? Hmm. We'll go check it out in the hospital. 
Perhaps I was too hasty in taking you home. Uh, I just couldn't bear to have another second without you right beside me. And while I'd love to make sure you're okay, I had to believe it with my own eyes and I got a little bit singular focused. I'm so sorry, my love. We'll go there in the morning, okay? And I swear to you, I'll protect you and I'll make you happy. For now, you should get some rest. No, don't even worry about it. While I'll be up for just a little while, I'll be here to protect you, no matter what happens. Now get some good rest, my sweet. And no, I'll never let something like this befall you again.